Uh, do you happen to catch the uh, halftime performance by uh, by? Uh, sure, sure. No, it was John Moran's dad, actually. <laughs> I didn't. I usually skip the halftime show. It's uh, it's it is pure recocculousness. I um, what did you think? I I honestly did not watch it. Um, so even your wife doesn't even like. Oh hey, I don't oh, care about the it. score. She, she wants watched. to watch it. And you you won't watch. That's it. all she wants to watch. And you don't want to watch it. She wanted. To, she's like. She's like Chris. It's getting late. It was like we had made it. I, I don't. And, it, there was like. <laughs> Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. She's like, "Should we leave?" I'm like, "Well, we've invested this much to this game. I mean, yeah. we can't leave now." Wait, where um, were you at watching the game? We were at uh, we were at some relatives. And so, at halftime, you conveniently went out to smoke a cigar. Like, hey, yeah, I did. I went downstairs. Like, nope, I'm not even going to give it a try. I don't know. Fill me in. Was it any good? No, I, I you know what I, I, I know exactly how it went. I don't need to have watched it. I know exactly what it looked like Pretty because bad. every one of them is the same ridiculous. Uh, uh, what there were like four hundred dancers and and there was a yeah, and they giant brought, inflatable. When we saw Jermaine Dupri, it was like, what oh, okay. what is Jermaine Dupri doing out there? And then he didn't even sing. He just said, mm, and then it was on to something else. The only thing I liked was ludicrous at the very end, but by that time you had lost me completely. I thought the last two years, this year, and I thought Rihanna was pretty bad. Like, and I don't know if I'm, I'm, I like prejudiced Rihanna. or biased because we all know who gave the best, the best halftime performance of all time. And Eric. I don't. Think, no, I'm just kidding. No, no, Noah, you know who I'm thinking of, right? Mr. Prince. I, I would say, I mean, you know, we may be biased, but I, I think Prince did the best job uh, of any halftime show. Is that what you're thinking? Absolutely, because when, it, remember, it was in a torrential downpour, and when they came in, they are like, I don't think we can do the show. What, what do you want from us? And he said, can you make it rain harder? And then he went in and gave... A better performance than the Super Bowl itself, which you know, uh, it, w- in, it was. It, in yeah, ten it was years, crazy. in ten years, it you'll tell crazy. that story, and it, it will have been a, it'll be a hurricane that he performed in. That's the beauty pert of near, it. Pert near, and and here's the thing. I the last two years, I have known no songs in the halftime deal. When you had Bruce, or you had. Um, I'll even give you Janet and Justin Timberlake. I mean, to me, Prince gave the best halftime performance except for Janet. Okay. But with when, when you had all these performers that people have known, maybe Noah doesn't know the songs. When you have Bruce Springsteen or, like you said, Aerosmith or Prince or, like, they just ran down and you're like, man, this, they're going to, the last two years, I'm like, I don't know. When he, I, don't, I don't know anything. So and is that I'm, because I'm an angry old man? Do you, do you think that that the way you're not liking the the halftime shows anymore is because you're just not familiar with the songs? Because personally, I grew up with Usher. I thought the first half sucked, but I liked the second half of the show because he was doing a lot of the songs that I appreciated and I liked from him. But do you think okay. for you, where so, you just don't know the songs, you can't now hold really? On, now hold on. Hold on. Out of the five guys that I watched the game with on Sunday, only one guy had bet on the game. And the only bet he made was a prop bet on what Usher's first song was going to be. Ooh. All right? He was going to get paid right. They didn't even play the song, the whole the whole deal. Which and I'm like, was it, yeah? Was it that I, one? I don't know. No, he did, yeah. Was it a... Uh, what <laughs> no, you know I was, what was No, I, I don't because he told me 18 times and I still, oh, don't care. Um... Oh, I know. I, I bet I know what it is. Oh, oh my God. OMG. No, no, uh. no. Anyways, the point was even the people know that when he was more down, I thought, not because he lost the bet, but because he was like, what the f- am I watching here? And I, I didn't know. I really didn't. I. He's 5'8". Usher's 5'8". I don't know why I wanted to say that. He just thought he comes off taller. 